Thomas the tank engine was a little blue engine who always tried to be really useful. He and all of his friends lived on the island of Sodor. Life on the island of Sodor was very peaceful and happy. On this beautiful island where trades could talk and the railroad was really reliable and right on time, trouble was brewing. Things are very busy on the island of Sodor. Sir Topham Hatt was away on vacation, and all the engines were doing their best to be really useful. But Thomas the Tank Engine did not feel useful at all. James T's Thomas were bumping into the buffers. Gordon scolded Thomas for being late. They made Thomas feel unimportant. Gordon told Thomas. Grumbled Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt, the railroad director, was on. <clears throat> Sir Topham Hatt, the railroad director, was going on vacation. Mr. Conductor, who traveled from place to place in a sh shower of gold dust, was coming to help him out. Thomas said. Huffed Gordon. Whoosh! Suddenly, a big diesel engine raced past them. Asked Gordon nervously. Thomas said as the diesel streak away. Grumbled Gordon. Thomas agreed, but he couldn't help feeling frightened. Thomas said to himself. But just then, Harold the helicopter flew by, making a cloud of dust. Thomas's nice blue paint got all dirty. Two nasty diesels made fun of Thomas, they said, and they did. Meanwhile, Diesel 10 was planning to get rid of the steam engines once and for all. He wanted to run the railroad. That night, Diesel 10 sneaked up to the engine shed and threatened Mr. Conductor with his jagged claw. His Diesel 10. Mr. Conductor had a, another problem, too. He sighed to Thomas. Thomas and the other engines knew they had to help Mr. Conductor find the source of the magic gold dust. Poor Diesel 10 to his pals. Splatter and Dodge gulped. Diesel 10 continued. Dodge asked. Snickered Diesel 10. A door on Di a door opened on Diesel 10's cab roof and come out <clears throat> A door opened on Diesel 10's cab roof and out come his huge metal claw. Said Diesel 10. He lifted his claw high above them, but then it dropped and hit him on the head. Splatter and Dodge said to each other. Little did the Diesels know that Toby, the tram engine, had overheard their plans. Toby told the other engines 
Then he followed the diesels to see what they were going to do next. The diesels were planning to destroy the magic buffers that led to Mr. Conductor's magic railroad. Said Diesel 10 to Spider and Dodge. Toby knew he had to do something to stop Diesel 10, thought Toby. Clang! Toby rang his bell as loud as he could. Shouted Diesel 10. Diesel 10 tried to catch Toby with his claw, but he knocked over a pile of scrap right onto his own tracks. Diesel 10's path was blocked. Asked Splatter and Dodge. Diesel 10 growled. Thomas was determined to prove that little engines can be really useful too. That night, Thomas was right on time doing his mail route. He even confirmed Percy, who felt bad for being late. The next morning, Thomas saw Henry looking glum, peeked Thomas. Henry told him. Thomas smiled and hopped away, feeling really useful indeed. Near a set of old buffers, Thomas set to work collecting the coal cars, but the last coal car was not coupled properly. Thomas didn't notice the coal car slid in quietly backwards. He didn't notice it mysteriously disappearing through the old buffers. It wasn't until later that Thomas realized the coal car was missing. Thomas told Percy. Percy got very excited. He cried. The engines had heard the legend of the magic railroad and of the beautiful golden engine called Lady, who gave the, ra the railroad its magic power. Lady had disappeared long ago, and the magic railroad had disappeared with her. Thomas exclaimed, and he hurried away. Thomas steamed back to the old buffers. He knew that bringing Lady back would be really useful, but he was nervous too. thought Thomas. But Thomas kept going. He reached the old buffers and passed right through. The magic road was dark and scary, but it was also beautiful. Thomas found the missing coal car with the coal car coupled properly, he could turn along the magic railroad. Thomas passed through another set of buffers and into a world he had never seen before. This was the other end of the magic railroad and the home of Lady the Golden Engine. Lady had not run in many years, but with the help of the special coal from the island of Sodor, she was soon steamed again. 
As Lady moved along, her lovely, happy face was revealed once more. The rails became clear and golden, and beautiful shavings fell behind her and gathered between the tracks. The magic railroad was coming back to life. Thomas followed Lenny back through the buffers. With a roar, the two little engines burst onto the island of Sodor. Diesel 10 was mad when he found out that Thomas had traveled the magic railroad to bring back Lady the Golden Engine. Lady was the source of the magic gold dust. She could help Mr. Conductor foil Diesel 10's plan. Diesel 10 chased Lady, but Thomas raced between them. All three engines headed toward a dangerous old viaduct. Lady crossed the old viaduct. Stones began to fall. When Thomas crossed the viaduct, more stones fell and a big gap just appeared in the track. Thomas jumped the gap just in time. But Diesel 10 couldn't stop, and he tumbled far below onto a barge filled with sludge. Lady was safe, and there would always be plenty of gold dust, Gordon told Thomas. Thomas said, and puffed home into the sunset.